Researchers at Sandia National Labs have created an integrated microneedle sensor called the Transdermal Health Monitor. An array of these microneedles can be placed on a single substrate where each individual needle can monitor a certain type of biomarker. Microneedles were originally mainly used for drug delivery. And of course, we want to go the other way. We don't want to deliver drugs. We want to sample um, fluids in your body. It's, it's puncturing the skin in the same way that the bigger, more painful hypodermic needles work. So it's a kind of a cone-shaped object. And that object is small enough so that it doesn't penetrate deep into the skin where your, a lot of nerve endings are. And we make the needle as a sensor as well. So the, once the needle's inside, it can operate by detecting the biomolecules that we design it to detect. One of our big challenges was to actually how to take these sensors and put them in the microneedle, miniaturize these sensors, make them small enough to fit inside, and individually address each microneedle so we can multiplex and measure a lot of analytes at the same time. The microneedles are sampling interstitial fluid, which is the transparent liquid that surrounds all human cells. At the moment, we're looking at metabolites. We're looking at things like glucose and lactate, and hopefully over time, we'll be able to create arrays of these such that you can have a multitude of compounds detected at the same time and get towards global health states or universal health states to understand what's going on with the individual. We want to detect a whole host of molecules, so not just metabolites like glucose and lactate, but we want to actually measure things like proteins and other small molecules, electrolytes, potassium, um, even, even RNAs and nucleic acids that are in your interstitial fluid. So what I have in my hand is a prototype of the transdermal electrochemical sensor where you have a collection of needles on an array, on a substrate that's around the size of a, a wristwatch, and there's an array of them such that we can look at different markers at the same time. The Transdermal Health Monitor, sponsored by the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, has been licensed by Microfluidics Biomedical to develop a watch to be worn by soldiers and athletes to optimize performance. They will also design the wireless technology for transmitting the signal generated by the sensors, which can then be viewed by coaches, military personnel, or the individual who owns the watch. Future research will include detection of viruses and cancer before symptoms even appear. Commercially available wearable devices don't offer that level of detection of chemical and biological molecules, and so we're hoping to provide a unique data set that's not currently available. Interstitial fluid is a, is a very new source of information. As a clinical biofluid, currently it is not in practice. So right now, um, the doctor will measure your blood or your, or your urine. Nobody measures interstitial fluid. But there's a lot of potential there as a previously um, untapped source of, of rich information for what is going on in your body. So the game changer is bringing the, the doctor's office out of the clinic and bringing it on an individual itself, something that is so easy to use that it's continuously monitoring and a, a person can be measuring themselves all times and not even aware that this device is on them.